So here is the first pool. We have the harmonic series. So let's extend it to the 16th term. And let's have another series and call it X. By comparing the two, we can say that the harmonic series is greater. Meaning that each corresponding term is greater or equal to that of X. Now, let's look at X. We have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 twice plus 1 over 8 four times and so on. So by adding similar terms, we get an infinite number of halves, which means the result is infinity. And since the harmonic series is greater, it results infinity as well. But still does not prove that the harmonic series is equal to log infinity, right? Let's look at the second proof. We have Tyler series. And by substituting x with 1, we get this. If that did make sense, I have a question. Look at the series. It is similar to the harmonic series, but the signs alternate between pluses and minuses. It is actually a special case of what called the eta function, and it is equal to log 2. But let's forget about that for now. Let's just subtract it from the harmonic series. By simplifying the left side, we get this. The harmonic series is equal to log infinity minus log 2. But we already said that this sum is equal to log infinity. So why do we have two different results of the same series? Some of you guys might say log infinity minus log 2 is the same as log infinity. And in some sense that is true, right? I mean subtracting a finite number from infinity gives infinity and we are all good, right? Then let's subtract them from each other. We get 0 equal to log 2, which implies that clearly there is something wrong here. Basically, the left side which have 0 should not be equal to 0. For example, let's have the harmonic series till the 100th term, and the eta function till 100 as well. Now let's subtract them from each other. We get this again, and with simplifying the left side, we get this. Now let's compare only the left side of the two series. As you can see, while the top series reaches the 100th term, the bottom series reaches only the 50th term. What does that mean? It means by adding terms from 51st till 100th, the result is approximately log 2. In other words, by adding the first hundred term of the harmonic series, we get this number. And by adding the first fifty terms, we get this number. And by subtracting the bottom from the top, we will be left with uh, terms fifty first to hundred, which is equal to this. An approximation of log two. Someone might be wondering, can we make this approximation more accurate? Of course, as a matter of fact, if we use 100 terms of the eta to approximate log 2, it will be exactly equal to the sum of this method. Now, let's have the first 20 terms of the eta. Let's subtract and add terms for each even term. For example, add a half and subtract a half. By simplifying the negative terms, you can see that we have two harmonic series, a positive to term 20 and a negative to term 10. After cancelling terms, we get this proves that they are exactly the same. Basically, depending on the number of terms we take, the starting term will be decided. 
for example for a hundred terms we start at term 51 while for 200 terms we start at term 101 and for a thousand terms we start at term 501 and so on so there are two ways to approximate log 2 but what about for example log 3 log 5 log 103 log 7 over 9 turned out that they can be approximated in that way as well for log 3 for example we have this series if you try to add terms the result will get closer and closer to log 3 the same goes for log 4 and for any natural number y and similar to log 2 they all have a second type of approximation in log 2 case we take the letter half of the number of terms and they will be approximated to log 2 but for log 3 we take the letter two third of the number of terms while for log 4 we take the letter three quarters of the number of terms okay but what about log of a fraction as an example let's take log 3 and 4 basically we subtract log 3 from log 4 and after cancelling terms we get this in that case we take the letter quarter of the number of terms which will be an approximation for log 4 over 3 and similarly we can do that for any log of a fraction and that's it